Welcome everyone, this is Bruce with the DIY Homestead Projects channel. About a year ago, I did a video on an eMacros garage security alarm. And that's been a pretty nice setup where I have it on a gate in my backyard. If somebody comes through the gate, the alarm goes off and notifies me inside the house with a certain chime. Since then, I've decided to go ahead and upgrade my home security system. And what I've come up with was this Eufy Security by Anchor. They provide a lot of products for home security, and this is the particular one that I've decided upon. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I bought these products with my own money. They are not paying me for this review. But I did want to share it with those of you out there who are looking around, trying to find information, and trying to learn as I was about these home security video camera systems. This is the first one I've ever used, assembled, or installed on my home. So this is a first time user perspective on this product and how it went for me. And I just wanna show you in this video why I chose what I chose, show you how I've got it set up. And I've been using it for about two weeks. I just wanna let you know how it's gone for me so far with this particular system. I did set up an affiliate program. I will be including some affiliate links in the description of the products that I'm using in this video where I could get a little bit of a commission if you happen to use the links to purchase the product. If you do so, I want to thank you in advance and uh, any commission that I will make on this product will just go right back into the channel to help me make videos for you guys. So the Eufy product that I purchased was a kit. It comes with two 2C 1080p battery operated video cameras that include spotlights, internal speakers, as well as a security alarm that sounds an alarm if somebody trips the camera. I decided that I wanted to power my cameras with solar panels, so I've purchased separately some solar panels to mount with each camera. This is a 100% wire free system and there is no monthly contracts or hidden costs or fees. Once you've purchased this system, it's yours to use. You store the video footage on a home base that's within your home, and there's no external company involvement storing or, or reviewing the footage that you record on your video cameras. And that's one of the features that I really like about this particular setup. There is a, a subscription option if you choose to do that. However, I will not be doing that. I'm just going to use the internal storage and have this all housed within the home and my own privacy. Now, inside the home base, there is a 16 gigabyte internal storage and it stores up to three months of video recording. I figured that that would be sufficient for what I'm trying to do. It does have a spotlight on the camera for color night vision. Smart image enhancement is built in and it optimizes the image quality of areas where there are humans. This works with voice assistance, so you can connect your device to a Google Assistant or an Amazon Alexa for complete control over your surveillance. It's IP67 waterproof, has a 100 decibel intruder siren, and then the home base can connect to your Wi-Fi router for placement and also extend your Wi-Fi signal. Now the optional solar panel allows for continuous charging. It is actually weather and dust proof. It's built to be outdoors and it has about a 13 foot cable or four meters. So you can place it away from the camera or within four meters of your camera. Here's one of the cameras that I've got mounted on this aluminum awning along with the solar panel. So as the sun rises, this will pretty much be under the awning and most likely the uh, camera itself will be in the shade for the majority of the day. It's early in the morning right now, so it's in the sun. The sun's kind of low on the horizon, but if you had a camera that had the built-in solar panel, you wouldn't really be able to get optimal use out of the solar panel if it was mounted underneath an awning like this one is. And that's why I went with this particular camera with the add-on solar panel. So I could put that panel in the sun, put the camera in the shade, and I think it'll make things last longer. Or maybe you want to put your camera somewhere where it can't be in the sun. This will help you with that type of an installation. 
So as you can see, I've just got the mount there screwed to the aluminum post with some sheet metal screws. And then the camera screws into the mount. And then you uh, just point it where you need it to go, tighten up the mount ring there, and that's it. You'd have to pull that down every four to six months, depending on the usage and, and the battery life. But with the solar panel, I'll never have to remove that for the life of the camera. It'll just stay put, be charged during the daytime from the sun and very simple, very easy to install and easy to use. One time setup and you're done. And then as far as the home base setup, you can do it two ways. You can link it up with Wi-Fi so you can place it wherever you want to within your home or you can set it up like I have using the Ethernet cable which is approximately four feet long and I just have the base sitting right next to my router and then the base needs to be plugged into an AC outlet. So let's have a look at some of the sample footage that I've recorded with this Eufy home security video camera system. Keep in mind, I just got the system. I'm still uh, fine tuning and learning how to adjust the settings of the cameras and so forth, but this will kind of give you an idea of what to expect. Now these are the 1080p resolution cameras, and that is high definition video, and in my opinion, I think it's perfectly fine for what I'm trying to do with this uh, home security system. Now this is just a shot over the driveway during the daytime, just showing my entire driveway. And I did a few experiments. This is showing the camera at night with the spotlight feature as my neighbor pulls in across the street. And this is an example of the night color vision that you're going to get with this particular camera. This is at night with just the infrared camera, so black and white footage. And in this clip, I just wanted to see if somebody snuck up on my vehicle from the side, if they were trying to avoid being in the view of the camera. But as you can see, it still picked up the movement. Here's a daytime shot with the same camera. And as you can see, just very little movement, even in the corner of the camera, triggers the uh, recording and also continues to record while it senses the movement on the screen. Here's the front door at night. And you can see this real quick clip. I got into the house before the color vision really activated. Daytime, some movement down the street. Now, I, I probably need to adjust these cameras a little bit better, but this is just an example. Here you can see the shadow triggers the camera. even picked up a couple of rodents in the neighborhood. I'm probably 25 to 30 feet away, maybe at the limit of the camera in this shot, and it picked me up as I was spraying weeds in the front yard. And you can even see the, uh, the mail lady bringing a package to your front door. So far, so good. Let me know what you think. If you've got experience with different systems or different ones like Ring or there's uh, Blink and there's, there's just tons, tons of them, um, let me know what your experience has been. Drop me a quick comment in the comment section down below the video and let me know how you're liking your system and, uh, and what you like the best about it. If you have a UP system already, let me know how you're liking it. I'd really be uh, curious to know how other customers are enjoying this product. And again, I'll put uh, affiliate links in the description. You can go just check it out. Go check out their website. They're running lots of sales on lots of different products right now. And maybe probably throughout the, uh, the rest of the year and the New Year's and, 
and all of that. That's when companies seem to run a lot of sales. So check them out. I hope this video has helped you out. If I've given you some information that maybe has been useful to you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for the video. Consider subscribing for more and updates. And we'll see you on the next video.